Hello, I'm Charlotte Clark. Welcome to Many Voices, Many Visions. A little later, we'll be telling you about a local program which delivers wheelchairs to people who need them in Guatemala. But first, what are moderate Muslims? We talk today with local filmmaker Mara Ahmad, who has written a film to help answer that question. She's concerned about the many Muslim stereotypes so prevalent in the media. What messages are these stereotypes conveying? And how does that affect American Muslims? Joining me now is Mara Ahmed. 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 Um, I've known you for two or three years now, and I know a little bit about your uh, background, which I want to share with our viewers and radio listeners, uh, because I think it's an amazing prelude to making a 60-minute documentary film. <laughs> because you have three degrees all in business and finance. Business, finance, economics. And economics. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one, a master's from the University of Connecticut? Uh, from the University of Hartford in Connecticut. Hartford in Connecticut. Well, then, I guess my question uh, to you is, um, how, what, where on your path did you go from, from these over to art and filmmaking? Well, I've always loved art, and I, I really think that that was always my passion. And I guess for pragmatic reasons, I kind of veered into this uh, career path and kind of just stayed with it. And I, as I moved forward into it, you know, got more and more qualified and got better and better jobs. And so it becomes difficult to make that switch after a while. But about three and a half years ago, I decided to actually make that switch and just, you know, take the leap. I resigned from my job um, as a financial analyst. Um, I was designing mathematical models to do business analysis. So that was what I was doing. And I resigned from that job and just decided to go back to school, went to Nazareth College, took a few art classes, and never looked back. Just <laughs> loved it. Was, had never been happier in my life, truly. Okay. Well, that was doing uh, art. It How did you art. get then from art yes. to filmmaking? Because that took you over to RIT. <laughs> yes. Well, that's, uh, that had a lot to do with 9-11, actually. After 9-11, I truly felt, just watching TV and reading the print media, I felt that there was, um, the environment was almost becoming alarming from, for uh, American Muslims because of all the stereotypes that were slowly becoming very well entrenched in American consciousness and in American culture. And I found that very alarming. And um, I just felt that it was not a fair or a broad enough representation of Muslims around the world, and especially Muslims who are Americans, like myself, and live here in America. And um, so I, I just, it frustrated me, it made me very angry. I mean, I stopped watching the news for some time, and I just kept saying, well, they should make a film about people like us, about people we know, about normal people, who are the vast majority of Muslims. And then felt like, um, why wait for somebody else to do it? I just need to do it myself. And so I took a couple of classes at the Visual Studies Workshop here in Rochester and did one week-long class in documentary, in the documentary form, did another one in Final Cut Pro, which is the software that you use to edit. And um, basically started shooting the film <laughs> after that. <laughs> it's called a quick study, right? Yes, it was very, very quick. <laughs> but maybe it's a bit like you said when you landed, when you first took the course in Nazareth in art, and you just felt like you'd landed in the right place, yes. you were home. Yes. Did you have the same kind of experience with this film? With filmmaking, definitely. I love movies. I'm a movie buff. And I, um, when I watch movies, I like to analyze them, and I like to understand them, and I like the artistic technique versus the content of the film and how the whole treatment is. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I, I've always loved movies. Movies. And mm -hmm. this was, it's such a multi-dimensional art because you're dealing with visuals and you're dealing with sound and music. And, you know, you get to put all of this stuff together to make mm -hmm. an artwork. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was extremely satisfying. And then also working with all these very interesting people like mm -hmm. cinematographers and editors and mm -hmm. uh, musicians. Mm -hmm. um, I found a local young woman called Tegan Ward who is just extremely talented, extremely gifted, and um, 
she ended up doing two of the songs in the film. So, you know, I just got to meet so many interesting, wonderful people through this whole experience. That's interesting because I've had a chance to view the film in its entirety and I was struck with how perfect the words to some of the, the music were and I thought, yes. where did she find this? And yes. it's actually original music. Yes. Well, uh, it's coming, actually it's premiering June 8th at the Dryden Theatre, yes. right? Yes. And uh, we're lucky here on Many Voices, Many Visions because we get a chance to get a preview. Yes. No one else has seen any of this. No. Uh, so in fact, this was kind of a bit of the rough cut, right? Yes. But uh, it's wonderful and excellent, and we want to share it with you right now. So this is a, a clip from Mara Ahmad's um, The Muslims I Know. The Muslims I Know. Let's take a look. This is what the media want you to think. But is it real? I thought you should meet the Muslims I know. They're mostly Pakistani-American, because I cannot pretend to speak for 1.3 billion Muslims all over the world. Like me, they live in upstate New York, in Rochester. I asked them to talk about living in America and being American. But be ready now and then to trek across the globe to Pakistan and share some of the history and culture we bring with us. As an American, yeah. I view myself as an American. When I go to Pakistan and visit, I feel more an American than anywhere else in the world because I go there. I don't. I mean, I know the culture and stuff, but I'm there wearing jeans and a hoodie, while my cousins are all wearing the long robes and the and everything there. Yeah. I've grown up in America. I was born in England, but I've lived my life in America, and that's how I see myself. Like, I. I love football, not cricket. I, <laughs> just the most basic thing you can think of. Exactly. I can speak the language, but not that well. I have an accent, if, if you can believe that. Yeah. It's just different for us to see ourselves as a Pakistani. Like someone asks you, so hey, you're Pakistani, right? And I want to go, no, I'm an American, and you're German, or you're, you're Italian. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. I think you can, you're an American, and under that you can be an American Muslim, you can yeah. be American German, you can be American Catholic, right? There's yeah. Everything, but what, where you live and where you grow up and the culture that you embrace and the ideals that you're taught that makes who you are. And I think for every one of us who's sitting at this table, I think we're all American. I'm an American, but I, uh, I was raised in a hardcore Pakistani house. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's different. When I have, you know, desi khana every day, <laughs> and sometimes I just need some pasta. <laughs> What's the telling? But, yeah. <laughs> I love that. They look so adorable. Sometimes you just need some pasta, right? Exactly. You know, the point they bring up about uh, being American, and someone says, oh, you're Pakistani. No, I'm American. Um, I'm just as American as you, although um, your ancestors came from Germany or Italy or wherever, right? We have the new Americans and the old Americans. We're all Americans. But, exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. That's the point, is that we're all Americans. And I think uh, that's why it's very interesting to talk to American Muslims because they have this unique perspective of being Muslim 
but then American mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And so they can see the world in a different way. And I thought it would be very interesting for other people to find out what their views are mm -hmm. on what's going on mm -hmm. in the world. Well, you talked to a lot of, um, well, let's tell people where they can see the whole film because it addresses so many issues so beautifully. Um, it's titled The Muslims I Know, Where Are the Moderate Muslims? And it's premiering Sunday, June 8th at 1 p.m. at the Dryden Theater at the Eastman House. Tickets are $10, and you can buy them at any Wegmans, or you can buy them at the door. You can also find out more about the film and the filmmaker at www.themuslimsiknow.com. Lots of information on that website. I was interested to hear you say that you actually took all of the video that we saw um, in Pakistan, the yes. wedding dancers and the yes. street scenes. You I did that, that video, yes, because I went to Pakistan to attend a family wedding. And so I, I decided to shoot a lot of the video of just the streets of Lahore. And uh, weddings are just extremely like Indian, like in India, Pakistani weddings are also extremely colorful and exuberant and uh, mm -hmm. you know people dance and sing for mm -hmm. weeks mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just thought that was such a beautiful part of our culture uh, so colorful that very few people get to see mm -hmm. so I wanted to show that. What's so interesting is that that's um, balanced by kids playing football, uh, parent and child riding bikes, hiking, going skiing, all of the things that we as Americans tend to do for fun, you exactly. do as well. Exactly, because we're American Muslims. We're American Pakistani, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mara, I'm so glad that your journey through all of your careers has led you to this because it's a wonderful film you've made. Thank you. And I think we all have something to learn from it, a lot to learn from it, actually. So I wish you all of the best of luck with Thank it. Thank you very much. And we'll put that information up on the screen one more time. Where are the moderate Muslims? Dryden Theater, George Eastman House, Sunday, June 8th at 1 p.m. Tickets are $10. You can get them at Wegmans or at the door. You can also check out the website, www.themuslimsiknow.com. We'll be right back after a short break. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.